Ladies and gentlemen, Dizzle is back with another tutorial for you. I know it's been a while. Uh, here we are with uh, the Star Wars update. Dizzle is very behind. I feel behind. I feel like I'm missing out on some things. Uh, I don't know if you remember this build. This was from uh, Lion's Knight Castle Kit. I did a tutorial on the fire pit uh, back then, but I never actually did a tutorial on the build itself. So I thought it'd be cool to see if we could take some of these Star Wars pieces and make this uh, into the build to fit into our Rebel Outpost. Um, I only have mine. I'm sure you guys are a lot further than me, but I have it at seven on my way to eight as of right now. But we can take a quick look into here. Here's the Rebel workbench, with some storage, a little, uh, the courtyard I made into like a little uh, uh, outpost, like a working station here. And then I put the crafting bench in here. The, the other one, I'm upgrading that in the process. And then again, some of these pieces, guys, I don't know if you purchased them or not, but this is basically the kitchen and then more storage here. Oh, I gotta put the floor in there still. And then I'll take in the back. The only thing is the only thing I don't like is this right here because it doesn't, it's the, uh, to the, the log cabin build. So it kind of doesn't match. You can put the log cabin back half wall here but then the floor doesn't fit so we gotta uh we gotta fix if you want that you have to fix that otherwise it doesn't bother me so that's why i left it as is to be honest and then here is just a storage uh i didn't go again didn't go with the roof because of the uh, it would have showed that in the back again so i just went with the little uh castle surrounding on this one and you can do the same to this if you didn't want the roof uh obviously then you're gonna lose some of these uh extra features well, let's get started. I have uh, this cleared out over here. Start with the floor. You are going to go to, and I am using castle pieces and whatever store pieces get unlocked, guys. So this is gonna be castle wide floor. Uh, let's see, courtyard right about there. So you're gonna put one. Snap to that, two. Then you're gonna go find the thin floor. Uh, this one here, you're gonna put one there. One there. And you're gonna go back in the castle floors. Then you're gonna use 12 by two by one. And then castle thin floor again is six by two by one. And that should be your floor, okay? For the uh, courtyard where we have the little uh, workstation, all right? And now whatever you want, guys, again, this is not set in stone. We're gonna use the half walls, but you can mix and match this however you want. Um, I just try to not go overkill with the, uh, I'll show you the piece here in a second, this piece right here, but it's whatever you want. I went with that one, and then I mixed it up with this one. So one of those, you're gonna put basically three half walls right here of the two by two by six, okay? Again, turn them however you want, okay? We're gonna put one on the corner. And this one again, you can put whatever you want. Okay, once you get that corner, the interior corner down, you can go back to, oh, it's in my favorites. I'm gonna go there. But uh, I go back to the Rebel Castle corner. And these I did turn to face each other. Again, it's entirely up to you. We're gonna put four of those. And then here you're gonna go back into walls. So we're gonna build the, 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 the large castle structure. Well, not the large one, but the taller structure of the castle part right now. Go into walls. Uh, let's see, you're gonna go grab, oh, that's the nightly. Let's grab the castle one. Castle wall number two, the two by four by 12. You're gonna put one on this side, one on this side. Let's go back down to walls and we're looking for This piece right here, Rebel Castle window, two by 12 by two. All right, we're gonna come on this side now, and then we're gonna grab, we're gonna stay in windows. We're looking for this piece right here. And I like using this, because at night, these the, the, the blue glows, so it looks kind of nice. Okay. We'll finish off the front here in a second. And you're looking for the corner now. That's 
gonna be this one here. And I faced this inside because I used it again on the other on the other uh, other wall. So that way it's not, you're not getting double of it on one side. Plus I like how this looks in the corner. Not one on this side, not on that side. I like that look. All right, we're just gonna duplicate this process. Grab, go back down to Windows. It should be in here in your favorites. Put that one down and then grab this one. That one on top. Go to the corner. Again, you can face this however you want, but this is how I have mine facing. So it should look like that. Okay. All right, so this is gonna be the inside. So here, all I'm doing is, let's see, let's go back. We gotta go back in the walls. Looking for castle wall, that's nightly. Castle wall number one, two by two by 12. One on each side. Actually, let's put uh, let's put the door next and then it'll let me know for sure where that needs to go. It's all the way down at the bottom. You have two doors. Can't remember which one I have. It really doesn't matter. Depends what look you want. And then you gotta go back to your uh, castle wall, the corner. You can put that in there. And then up top, if you're still in your favorites, I went with this rebel wall the with the window up top. I put it to the right. This way, because this, this is gonna get doubled up. Now let's go back to this. If it's in your favorite, two by four by 12, the castle wall. You finish this off. Go back into building parts, walls. And then you're looking for a rebel castle wall, this one right here. There you go. So you should look like this. All the way around. All right, and then the inside, you're gonna grab, let's see. Castle wide, the 16 by 16 by one, and it should fit in there. There it goes. Fit all the way around? Yeah, it does. Okay. As far as what you want to do on the inside, guys, I think I'm just going to do like um, some parkour steps. You can do full steps. Uh, I know Kaboom. If you watched the, that video I did on the uh, uh, Lion's Knight Castle kit, I used Kaboom's uh, video for the stairs. There is a lot of pieces in that, though. That was my only uh, thing I had the downside to it. The Nino Dizzle dealt a lot with high complexity, so that's the only reason why I'm probably going to stay away from it this time and just do some parkour steps to get up on top, okay? Let's finish this. The sun's about to set. Show you what we need to do. Let's go back in the walls. Uh, this piece right here, the light support corner, the 2 by 2 by 6 And just make sure it's facing so you got it looking like that, okay? You're going to put one on each corner. Might have to turn it. It should snap for you. And then I believe this nightly uh, uh, two two by sixteen by six should fit right in there. Just make sure it's facing the right way. There we go. All right. There we go. So this part's done. This is how it should look all the way around, guys. And this is gonna be coming in from the inside. Okay. All right, we're gonna wait for some fresh daylight. When we come back, we'll start working on the, uh, work on the stru this structure to the left. Okay, we're back, let's get to work on this right here. The left side of the build. Let's say, you're gonna go back. If it's in your favorites, guys, you're gonna go, actually, it's not in my favorites. You're gonna go back into walls if it's not. Half walls. We are looking for this right here, Rebel Castle Corner. Again, you can turn this however you want, guys. I put one of those, then I put just a castle half wall, and then went back. And I put another one of those, and then we're going to go back into walls. We're gonna look for... Looking for this piece, right? Rebel, Rebel castle half wall, the two by 12 by 16. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna come into castle half wall. We're gonna grab the half wall that the put that there, and then we're gonna go back and grab the rebel corner. Put one of those there. All right, then we're gonna grab the plain one. I'm gonna call it plain <laughs> rather than castle. 
And then we're gonna grab the uh, two by 12 by six of Rebel half wall. Plane and then the Rebel. Again, if you wanna use more of the Rebel one guys, you can. I was just trying to break it up a little bit so it, it wasn't looking as busy. That's all, all right? Then we can repeat the process on this side. So we got a half, or we got the plane. We have the rebel half. We have the rebel corner. We got the plane. And then the rebel corner. And then the floor, castle wide floor. And then you go back into floors, go down a castle, and it should be uh, six, 16 by two by one, and put two of those. So we made this a little bit bigger than usual. If you, if you guys are familiar with these uh, little smaller builds that I do, I usually do one of these. Sometimes I do one and one. Uh, this time we're going, uh, we're doubling up at the end there, okay? So let's go to this side, we'll do the roof last. All right, so we should look like this all the way around now, guys. Starting to come together. All right, let's work on the right side. So again, the same thing, entirely up to you. Do that, do a plane, put one of these. Didn't look like it was right. Okay, so it should look like that. And then the front, let's see, let's go, yeah, going to roofs, I believe. Yeah, this one right here. This one's gotta face this way. Yeah, turn it so that's flat. And then this one here, this one can go like that. And then I just put one of each on each side, guys. Doesn't matter which one you use, you wanna use both. This is preference. Nothing uh, specific. All right, this actually worked out really well. It comes with the path right up into there, okay? All right, so now we should look like this. That's that wall there. I'm gonna go ahead and lay one of these down now so we know where the floor should go. So one, two, and this is a double, so we should go back. It lines up right there, okay? So that was two of these, castle wide, 16 by 16 by one, and then two of those in front. So now we know where we are on the edge over here, okay? So again, you can just repeat the process, mix and match, guys. Again, preference, however you want. There is no rhyme or reason to this. Now let's go across this way. Same thing. No rhyme or reason, guys. I think these, I just faced each other. Actually, I'm going to do this. So it breaks that up a little bit. corner right there where they meet all right so we should look like this let's go finish the floor really quick inside all right you're gonna go into castle floor you're gonna go grab uh eight by eight by one should be able to put two of those i think that's gonna be a wide uh this one here 16 six yeah the 16 by two by one okay so again, that was two of these, the eight by eight by one next to each other, and then one of those right in front, okay? So now we have all the floor, we have all the walls. 
All right, let's do this. Uh, let's do the floor over here. We have enough daylight. Let's, let's start this next, guys, right here. All right, we're going to go in the floors. And you should have this floor. If you want to keep the consistency of castle look, we can. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here really quick. I just broke it up a little bit. I used the Suji floor. So if you want to use that, you can. If you want to keep the castle look, we can. We'll keep this one castle. So that way you can kind of see how it looks with both. So you're going to put one, two, three. Four, and then we're going to go across. And we'll fill those in, guys. Okay. All right, let's see if we can finish this off before uh, the sun sets. <laughs> oh, put that down too soon. All right, so that's going to be a 16 by 2 by 1. Go back into floors. Put on a castle. We are looking for this one. 12 by 2 by 1. Nope. It is the... Just use that one, didn't I? Uh, the 8 by 2 by 1. And then this is going to be the 6 by 2 by 1 in that corner. And then you're going to go across with a... It's nightly. Keep going back to nightly. Here we go. Castle thin floor, the 16 by 2 by 1. Okay. And then here... The 6 by 6 by 1, guys. Should be able to go all the way across. All right, guys, this will messed up. You're not going to go all the way across with these. We are going to fill the space up with pieces, but not these. So let's take these two out for now. Because this will help us line up uh, our pieces for the uh, storage sheds. So you're going to put uh, two of the rebel corners. One there. And, and then one there. Okay, so it should look like that. You're basically lining it up with this because it's the same width all right so we can take these out now okay let's go back into floors are looking for let's go down the castle you can go down the castle floors you can look for the eight by eight by one you should be able to fit two of these right next to each other okay so it should look like this okay and then the same thing again guys entirely up to you let's go back you're gonna go grab Half walls. Just a combination of uh, of the plane and then the rebel corner. However you want it. You do need that in there, so that's the half wall. One there. Turn it like that. Again, no rhyme or reason. Okay. So we should look like this, guys. We're almost done, and then we'll do the roof. Okay, let's finish just the top part. And again, the, the difference with this one and the nightly one that we did, guys, we're just going to do use the uh, make this look like a castle structure more than the, the roof structure. Because I don't want to re repeat the roof, the the uh, the gables over there because of the, it looking like log cabin. That's my only dislike with this build. So we're going to go down. We are looking for Majestic Manors. Actually, no. Is it Majestic Manors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Majestic Manor's corner. Put one on each side. And then we can grab, again, either one of these. Whichever you like. Okay. And then I believe, yeah, the two by six by three. And you can just cap it off. And then here, I am using the large chest. 
one of those in and then what I did was I went back to floors and then I use the uh you can use uh, if you have the beachy you can use beachy otherwise use the uh the castle I just put two of those and then you can stack another one of these on top and this will give you four okay all right guys let's finish this floor this will head messed up a little bit on this so this one's taking this area is taking a little bit longer than usual you're gonna come down to uh looking for castle floor you're looking for a smaller square this one right here the four by four by one you put that one there and then now it's gonna be a combination of uh these pieces here guys you're gonna go across so it's 16 by two by one there's two of those Probably go with one there and let's see. Yeah, and then the 12 by two by one. So that's a 16 by two by one. And then the, let's see, what was that? The 16 by two and then the 12 by two. And then right here, go back in the floors. Yeah, you're gonna go with the eight by two by one right here. Okay. And then here, let's go in the fences. Uh, it's This one right here, one by six by two. And you can put it however you want. I have it on the inside, so it looks like it's bumped in a little bit. You can see that. And it should be the same one on this side. Actually, no, I lied. Uh, let's see. Is there one that's a little bit larger? Yeah, this one right here. The one by eight by two. And then we're putting down, going, going, you're gonna go in the walls. You're gonna go down the half walls. You're gonna grab castle half wall. You put one there, one there. Then you go into floors. If it's still there, the castle, the 16 by two by one, you should be able to fit. Yep, one on each side, and then another one of these in the middle. And then the fences. And then the one by 16 by two should fit right in there. Again, it's up to you how you want it look. the look, guys. Actually, Dizzle messed up on this one. See how it looks? One on facing more further out, and then that one gives us just a little bit of lip. Entirely up to you. Preference choice, okay? All right, so this is how we should look all the way around. We're almost done. We're gonna do the roofs next, guys. We'll get this wrapped up, okay? All right, guys, like I said, for the roof, it's entirely up to you. If you want to continue some castle look, you can go with pieces like that. And then a roof above. It's going to limit, though, your 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 ceiling height for your head. But I went with the, uh, the galactic roof. I like the black look. Mixed in with a little bit of the brown. Uh, let's see, let's go to roofs. And again, you can mix and match these pieces, guys. It's entirely up to you. Again, I was just trying to make, make this more look like a... Like an outpost. And on right, yep. One of those there. Let's see, what I do? Yeah, I put one on each side. We, so we can put one on each side now. One on that side. And on this side, we went with a, uh, with this one. Sorry about that. Dizzle had a uh, piece that was, I actually really like how this looks with there next to this. I actually like both of these. I'm probably going to keep both of these in here. I might move that one so this goes up in the path. And then this piece is going to be back in the roofs down to galactic. It's going to be this one right here. 10 by 4 by 6. One on each side. And then again, we can go down to ridge or the gable. Gable right, gable left. This doesn't bother me that much, guys. A little bit of a difference. If it bothers you, then I guess you're going to have to figure out <laughs> how you want to do this. But it does not bother Dizzle. All right, then up here, for the ridge, is entirely up to you again. You want more... More stuff on there. One of those. 
I put this. And then that's a uh, four by four by two. Okay. This side, this side I went plain. Uh, let's see. That. Uh, and then actually we need the hip here. That's got to come out. We'll put the hip first and then it'll let us know which piece we got to put next. This hip's going to be all the way down at the bottom. I went with this hip right here. There we go. And that's 10 by 10 by 12 by 6. Oh, we need to go with the valley on the other side. Let's go do that really quick. We can finish this off. So go scroll all the way back down again. Uh, you can go with either one. There we go. I was wondering why it looked funny. I could have, I could have thought I did use this piece. So that's a 10 by six by six. Now we're right. Take a look back here. Yeah, we should be good. Okay. And then here again, guys, whatever roof you want to use entirely up to you. You want more of this stuff? Actually, let's go with. Actually, I don't think we can. We can't go with that because this piece won't fit. We have to go with. Uh... There's no piece small enough to fit that. That's a. Uh... See, that was a 10 by 12 by six. And then a 10 by six by six. Okay, then you're gonna go with the uh, your ridge. This piece right here, you have your option. You can go plain or you can go with this. Again, it's entirely up to you guys. Okay. want more stuff on it you put more if you don't then keep it plain uh no that is going to be this one here four by six by two and that's it guys it's a wrap we have it all all complete take a walk around for you And then I'll take you. I'll take you over there by the other side again. I don't know what decorations you you have, guys. Which ones you have unlocked? Which ones you purchase? Okay. Again, up top is entirely up to you. If you don't want as much as busy, and then quick look. As far as again, I don't know what pieces you have unlocked. You have storage. This is just more just show. Little control center. Some pieces here. Workbench, I'm up in the process of upgrading. And then I'll show you the Suji floor. We did the castle floor on the other side. So again, entirely up to you guys. Just use the same size pieces. All right. There you go. Is it? We'll catch you on the next one.